And now, Wibbit's 2020 Local News First with WIBG News Director Rick Brancadora. Well, a stabbing and shooting incident in Atlantic City still under investigation today. Following three days of undercover work, WIBG's chief investigative reporter, Linda Cohen. Yes, well, apparently Taquan McLaren Lamar had come into the home in the 100 block of North North Carolina Avenue, got into an argument with a male there and pulled out a gun and fired. He wound up striking a 23-year-old woman. Both he and the man that he was having an argument with fled the scene before police arrived. Three children were in the home at the time. The 23-year-old woman was taken to the hospital where uh, she was treated for a gunshot wound that was not considered life-threatening. And- right, so the governor starts to open up things a little more for businesses indoors from 50% upward, but that still is not enough. That, according to State Senator Mike Testa, he says the hue and cry is that this governor has been dragging his feet and dragging his heels and caused major economic disruption for Atlantic Cape May and Cumberland counties. He should not have crushed the economy in our attempt to flatten the curve. Did we need to do everything we did when this was the novel coronavirus, when we were wholly unsure of what was going to happen? And we had our top experts, meaning Dr. Fauci, and I use experts in quotation, by the way, because I say that with my tongue firmly planted in cheek, because the original prognosticated numbers were up to 2 million American lives lost. Thank God that wasn't the issue. But now the World Health Organization themselves have stated that the lockdowns were not the answer and a proper response. An Atlantic County family tradition for decades. The hub in Summers Point and Mays Landing has been fitting everyone in the family with quality brand name footwear and apparel. Regular, tall, we fit them all. And with the personal attention you've known and love. Owners Carol Dodd and her daughter Karen Jones feature the brand names you trust. Large selection of boots and apparel with um, Wolverine, Pahar, Pickies, a uh, lot to choose from, a lot of different sales. Uh, have uh, large sales out on the sidewalk. Well, if your pants are too long, I shorten them for free. I am the sales girl in the back. That I, I, I have my own ironing board and my iron. I'll take care of you. Uh, we actually have uh, spring coming in now. It's been arriving. Uh, it will be still arriving within the next month, month and a half. Um, New selections, new promos, uh, seasonal colors, uh, new boots always coming in. Uh, just a large selection of everything, really. Come here because the merchandise is so nice and we have a, a big selection. Yeah, we always find what we want. Okay, we're located in uh, Summers Point at 273 New Road. And also our other store is in Mays Landing at 6167 uh, Harding Highway by the Mays Landing Diner. Here in South Jersey, our weather is always changing. That's why Nor'easter Nick is always there. I'm there when it matters most. Anytime, anywhere. And on any screen, so you know how to prepare. Tracking severe storms with the most powerful technology, so you're ready no matter where you live. Delivering the most accurate weather forecast on air, online, and on social media. Putting local first around the clock. Nor'easter Nick, South Jersey's weatherman. This is the Philadelphia Radio Legend, reborn in the Jersey Shore. This is WIBG. Local news you can depend on. Wibbage 2020 Local News First. Always there when you need us.